Welcome to the Simpler Business Podcast, where we talk about ways to do what you love and serve your people in a way that brings you income and freedom. I'm your host, Marissa Roberts. Join me as I chat with my favorite entrepreneurs about how they simplify their biz so that you can simplify yours. All right, lovely. I have a short and sweet episode for you today, and it's really about restless marketing and how that can hurt your sales results. Are you jumping between marketing strategies without allowing them time to actually start working? The allure of new marketing trends can be really appealing. You notice someone else doing something you haven't seen before, you perceive them as more successful than you, and you feel like you should ditch your current strategy and follow theirs instead. How many times has that happened? I don't blame you. We live in a world of instant downloads and short attention spans and constantly chasing the new at the expense of nurturing the now. The truth is most effective marketing strategies are kind of like planting a garden. They require time and care and consistency to see results. Jumping from one approach to another is like uprooting those little seedlings before they have a chance to grow, leaving you with nothing, just dirt. The iconic brands and the successful marketers know the value of patience and consistency. They understand that while it's important to be aware of trends and new ideas, this doesn't mean a complete overhaul of your strategy every couple of months. It's much better to commit to one approach and fine tune and optimize it over time. You want to give your marketing a chance to find and resonate with your ideal audience. So the first step is to take the emotion out of your strategy decisions. Set realistic expectations for your marketing strategies and understand that worthwhile results can take time. Establish clear goals, metrics for success, and timelines that allow for a genuine assessment of your strategy as you go. And keep in mind that whatever strategy you choose, you'll be spending a good chunk of time or effort or money on it. So if you have a tight marketing budget or none at all, you can still grow your reach, but you'll spend more time and effort doing it through collaborations and consistent posting. Think 12 months to see the results, not three. Now, if budget allows, you can save time and effort by boosting posts or running ads to your ideal audience, but don't go into debt to do it. And remember, if you're putting up posts that don't already get engagement from your existing audience, they're not likely to get much engagement from new viewers either. So you want to aim for social media posts that are helpful or relatable, things that people are likely to save and share. The best advice I can give you is to choose a marketing strategy that you enjoy actioning and stick to it for a solid 12 months before switching it up. Give it a chance to work, track the data behind it, and then make a decision on whether to keep going as is and scale or switch up your strategy at that 12-month point. So how do you choose what kind of marketing to do? Well, it's pretty easy if you're going along with what feels good. If you're comfortable on camera, make videos or do live streams. If you enjoy writing, grow your reach with guest posts and article submissions. If you like making bite-sized content, then you can go for TikToks or Reels or YouTube Shorts. And if you really enjoy talking, then of course, podcasts are a great option for you. If you like group collaborations, then summits and bundles are the way to go. Choose what feels good because it's easy to stick with that and do it consistently. I hope you found this short and sweet episode helpful and I would love to hear your thoughts on marketing strategy too. Come on over to Instagram at Marissa Roberts Official and we can have a chat about it there. And if you'd like to, you can always head over to Apple Podcasts and leave me a rating or a review. We always like to know what topics you want to talk about and what you would find helpful to learn more about so that our episodes are relevant to you. Okay, that's it for this week and I'll see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Simpler Business Podcast. If you did, please subscribe, rate, and review us on Apple Podcasts. There's a link in the show notes to make it nice and easy for you, just the way we like it. If you're ready to simplify and scale your business, you can get started with my free audio class at marissaroberts.com. See you next time.